You're a real cooker. And then goes a Mr. Potholder. Woohoo! Oh, someone came. Maybe it's a Mr. Potholder himself. It's not the brick, but still wouldn't be easy. Hey. May I help you? You got the wall. Let's go inside. Excuse me. Uh, and then up. we need to figure out what? Uh, whether it's made of maybe. Wait a minute. Uh, what? On what grounds are you? Rob, check the walls. Hey, I didn't invite you in. <laughs> I'll call the police. Miss, we're on business here. What bit? Hey, kids, okay. go outside. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Do you hear me? Give it up. If you touch me, or my Hush, children. miss. We are just regular workers. What? what are you doing here? Hush. Here, we have an orders to inspect the area, to calculate the square footage, and to draw up the demolition plan. What demolition plan? You have a backyard. Hey, wait. No, stop right there. This is my house. Okay. This is house number five on the 14th street, right? Well, yes. So but... we are at the right address. No, uh, you cannot break down my house. I live here. My children live here. Who, who authorized me? Mayor Bridges, miss. There must be some mistake. No. Look, if my house to be demolished, shouldn't I be notified in advance? Robert, the package. Uh, you check it. Second. Sign it. What do you have there? Come on. What's that? You're welcome, please. Take it. What's that? Well, what, that's from the mayor's office. The, mm -hmm. What's that's an order to demolish my house with an opportunity to challenge it before June. It is dated December 12th. I didn't receive it. And this one, April 4th, May 5th. No, I didn't receive any of these. I suppose it get lost on the way to you. But, uh, but now you received them officially. You signed for delivery. So it seems to be a porch. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rob, you done? Okay, so we are done here with inspection. Uh, sorry for inconvenience. But what do I do now? It's simple. You just have time to the autumn this week to leave this house. Have a good day. Goodbye. Are you kidding me? Hey, kids, be quiet, all right? Dean, give it to your sister. Thank you. Sit over there. Cancel all my meetings for the rest of the day. Mr. Bridges. Sir, excuse me. Uh, Mr. Bridges is not available today. No, he is. No. <laughs> I've been waiting for him for two hours and he's gonna listen to me. No, 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 not today. Really? Yeah? Okay. Tomorrow. Dorothy, don't you wanna go and try nail polish over there? Go, honey, go. What? No! No! no. Sir, watch them, please. Mr. Bridges, uh, hi, Mr. Bridges. Uh, my name is Charlotte Brooks, and some men broke into my house today. We should call the police. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, they said you authorized them to demolish my house, and I believe that's a mistake. Do you live on 14th Street? Yeah. Wow. Well, this is your lucky day. They're gonna be building an amusement park where you live. Congratulations. No, no, uh, 
Congratulations with what? Look, you want to leave a mother of three kids without the roof over Is her so head? Is it difficult for you to sacrifice your barn for the goodwill and happiness of the entire city? Excuse me. Sacrifice? A barn? Look, I'll file a complaint against Why don't you file a petition with the Supreme Court, okay? But you know what? I highly doubt that a mother, unemployed, with three kids and no lawyer, is going to win a successful lawsuit against the current sitting mayor, who, by the way, is very popular and very well respected. And by the way, you know, it's people like you, people exactly like you, who breed those who vote for amusement Enough. parks. You're not going to let me have dessert after dinner tonight? Lady, you're in way over your head. You're a nobody. You're irrelevant in the big scheme of things. You're a zero. Understand? Well, you think you're a king of this town, right? You're right about one thing. Court will not help me here. You're not to be judged. You're to be overthrown. I'm gonna be a man. Good luck to you, Charlotte. Loser. Good evening. Uh, Daily News, right? Yeah, um, I got a sensational information about the mayor. Mr. Bridges, yes. It's, um, it's Charlotte Brooks, a future mayoral candidate. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Why are you laughing? What's so funny? Oh, come on, stop it. All right? Yes, I understand what I'm talking about. Stop. But Mom, why are you yelling? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it's too late. Yes, I know I won't yell. Guys, you go to your bed, all right? Sorry. Oh my goodness. Tell me what to do, please. Get back Honey, to yourself. Leave our guest alone. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Go play with your brothers, okay? Bye. I'm sorry for all this mess. It's okay. Yeah. So, what brought you here, Mr. Parker? Uh, we've met yesterday at the mayor's office, and coincidentally, I overheard your conversation, and I want to help you. It's possible to enter your candidacy outside the party, but it's not going to be easy. You need a strategy. Program. Well, <laughs> can you be more specific? What do you suggest? Well, you need to hold a press conference and to give interviews. Also, you need to pay some additional fee and put together a program. And how about hiring a team? A lot of stuff to do. Hmm? How much are we talking about? It's for you. Thank you, my dear. Let's put it here, right? Does look good? Come here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I couldn't imagine that much. I see Miss Boots, that's why I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna pay a half price. But why are you doing this? Well, I'm going to have to ask you the same question. Oh. Do you have kids, Mr. Parker? You know how scary it is for mother to raise her children in a city like this. Look, I don't care about politics. I don't care about business, about power, my own career opportunities. That doesn't matter. 
the future of my children, of our children. That's what's important. And my husband, he gave his life for this country. And I want to know our kids feel safe and free here. I want them to have a good future, and that's what I'm fighting for, for their future. Well, you just answer your own question. With this mayor who sits in his office right now, we have no future at all. Yeah. Well, I think I have no other choice than just do it. Where do we start? We have already started. Look at this. What is? I don't care about politics. I don't care about business, power, my own career opportunities. That doesn't matter. The future of my children, of our children. Why do you? Look, you think it will work? It will work ten times better than this mayor's false speeches. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Hello. If you value your children's lives and health, you must step down from the election. What? Stop your campaign or you regret it. Well, bravo, Brooks. I gotta hand it to you. Good effort in trying to take over my job running this town. Really good effort. But, hey, you ever been fishing? Fishing? Yeah, fishing. I, you, you remind me of a trout. <laughs> that, that's it, a trout, squirming, flipping, thrashing as I'm squeezing you. You're trying to break free. You're trying to, you're, you're hoping, you're trying to get free. You're gonna get your ratings down to zero today. But to no avail. It's useless. You don't break free. What's this? Compensation. Let's call it my parting gift. Take the money and run. If you withdraw your candidacy before noon, then <laughs> I'll throw in an extra 20 bucks for bus fare. Okay. That's exactly the reaction I was expecting. You do not want to make this easy, do you, Brooks? You know that loan you got in the bank downtown? Huh? My lawyers called them up today. I had a little talk with him. I give him the go-ahead, and all your accounts, frozen like that. The interest you owe is enough to put you in jail. Don't worry, don't worry. Social services are gonna take care of your kids, your orphans. <laughs> but you know what? They're probably gonna be better off than you in jail. So, Brooks, what's it gonna be? You know where. Damn it. Hey, this is Charlotte Brooks. Mayor Bridges is threatening me, my life, and the lives of my children. Unfortunately, I'm being forced to remove my candidacy for mayor. He acts against the law. And I appeal to all the people in this town and in the whole world, actually. Go and write the name of candidate who you believe is worthy of bringing justice and light into your life. Mommy, mommy.
Mommy, should we take Mr. Sanchez with us? Of course, honey. Come here. I don't want to go. Mom, let's say, please. You said yourself we shouldn't give up. Honey, we're not giving up. We're just going the honest way. I know we lost our home, but if it helps bring people together, and if it's a step towards justice, then it's worth it, believe me. We'll make it. I want any one of you get hurt. You trust me on that? Still have 10 more minutes. Stay here, okay? Don't rush me. I told you that. Oh, it's you. I'm... It's just um. You struck me off the list of candidates. No, I didn't. But your video, it blew up the internet. Charlotte, you need to see this. What are you talking about? It's a miracle. They love you. Is that for real? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What, Brooks? Has making you mayor made you rude and insolent? What, Bridges? Is it insolence to walk into my own office? Listen, this isn't over yet. It's not over. I'm going to challenge the results. I'm going to take you to court. Mm. Well, good luck with that. But I have doubts that unemployed crook without a lawyer wins a lawsuit against a successful mayor with a good reputation. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving. This is my office. You understand? This is all mine. This, this is my award. And, and this is my tape. And this is my chair. Yeah, that's right. That's right. What's this? Letters of notice. You gotta leave this office by the end of day. Today. It's not fair. You just give them to me now? Wait, you want to say you didn't receive them earlier? Oh, you know what? I think I know what happened. They got lost somewhere along the way. But, you know, don't worry. You're going to have enough time to sort out your mail. <sighs> Chris's phone, how could I help you? Stop lying to me and making an idiot out of me. You've got a call from dry cleaners. They are waiting for you. Wait, I can explain everything. It's my friend, Michelle. Michelle was in a car accident and she hurt her back. You, you know, you should come with me so you can meet her.